In the kitchen this morning, we're knocking the socks right off your sweet tooth. S'mores are a favorite when it comes to camping, but who says you have to head outside to enjoy some? You don't. This morning, Chef Becky gets a little help in the kitchen as she shows us a tasty twist to the traditional s'more. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Becky. Today I have a very special helper. Hi, I'm Elise and I'm nine years old. Today we're going to be making a very special recipe. It's called s'more brownie cups. And if you're looking for your chocolate fix, this is it. So this is the brownie recipe that I made last night. It's completely cooled and ready to work with. So we're just going to break it up with our hands into little bite-sized pieces. There's so much chocolate going on in this recipe, it's hard not to eat all the ingredients before we finish the cups. This is a great recipe to do with kids. It's so much fun and they will love assembling their own dessert. So now we have the brownies all broken up into bite-sized chunks. We're gonna start by putting first layer of brownie in the cups. This recipe is really flexible, so if you wanted to use a fat-free brownie mix, you could. I've also made this recipe gluten-free. So Ellie, what I'm gonna do next is take one tablespoon of marshmallow fluff and put it on each cup. And will you use the spreader to smooth it out? I like to use both marshmallow fluff and the mini marshmallows in this recipe, just for some interesting texture. This is the nice gooey component of the recipe. The mini marshmallows tend to be a little bit dry. I do like to smear the marshmallow out to the edges of the cup so people can see each individual layer in the finished product. So the next step is graham crackers, right? So don't look yet. So would you like to put about three chunks of graham cracker on each cup? I'll go ahead and open a Hershey bar. Last year for Ellie's birthday party, we did a camping theme. And so this was the dessert we made. So for this layer, I'm breaking the Hershey pieces into half. So one bar will make 24 small pieces. Be just enough for three chunks per cup. That looks good. These are looking great, but I think it's time for more chocolate. Okay, let's add some more brownies. Now it's time for my favorite layer, the chocolate frosting. So I'm going to drop about a tablespoon to two tablespoons each of this chocolate frosting. Next, we are going to sprinkle mini marshmallows on the cups. How many should we put on each one? Three. Let's do a couple more than that. Five? Yeah, let's go with five. That's looking good. Let's put some more graham crackers on. It's time to break open the chocolate bars. Again, here we go with more chocolate. So now we're gonna break the Hershey bar into the individual pieces. And this will be the garnish on the dessert. So now we're gonna take each little Hershey chunk and nestle it right on top with the logo up. Because everyone knows that s'mores are made with Hershey bars. Summer and s'mores go hand in hand. And who says you need to be at a campground to enjoy it? All that you need is a spoon. I hope you enjoyed one of our favorite summer recipes. The look on her face was priceless. This morning we have a real treat because Chef Becky and Ellie are here. Good and they, morning. they brought their amazing s'more brownie cups. Good morning to you. This is the first time you guys have actually been here together. It's been nine years since I've been here. I this know. is Ellie's first time being here. And you say that you're awake at this hour. Yes, every That's day good. she That's wakes helpful, me up. right? Okay, so she brought them for us. So every week he says, why don't you bring in what Chef Becky makes, don't you? All the time. He says that to yep. me every week. So today, <laughs> this is your this is your treat right here. Oh, I can't wait. Doesn't it look good? Okay, so we'll uh, we'll let Joel have one of these and can chomp away. There I was just go. thinking about how starving I was too. <laughs> so this is great. Ellie, do you want one too? Yeah, sure. dig in. Of course. I mean, how how often can you be told to eat sugar at what 6:48 in the morning? This is a good day, right? I wanted to mention to you though, we sure. talked about in the piece. So you started out with this big. Uh, thing of brownies. Yes. Um, but you actually, that is actually even more chocolate. That is the chocolate decadence brownie recipe that I made for Valentine's Day on KMTR. And so that recipe is on my website. That is an amazing, like that and those brownies in themselves were crazy good. So if you want to go all out, I would <laughs> Take the extra time and make the triple chocolate decadence brownie recipe. And then pile in all the other chocolate. You're going to yes. have to sit down after this. Well, actually, you probably won't be able to sit down for like a week because you'll be so sugar laden there, right? <laughs> That's true. Now, you were saying this is something that you guys um, have made before. Yes. People love it. It's delicious, easy, and there's no hassle of starting a campfire. 
You like that, right? It's fun. Did you like these when she made them for your birthday? Yeah. The kids loved them and the adults loved them. I bet they did. <laughs> oh, sure, hit. I'll take one. Oh. Good? Yeah, think? very good, very good. I'll take uh, seven to go. Yeah. <laughs> one of the things that's important for you, obviously because you have a daughter, um, is being able to put together recipes that she can help you with. Yes. She enjoys helping with, of course, the treats. Right. <laughs> but we try to come up with fun ways to use healthy ingredients, too. But these are much more fun, right? Of course. Of course. It's a treat. <laughs> well, it's a treat to have you here, so we appreciate both Thanks of for you having us. In. Thanks for bringing us our snacks. <laughs> She's a little busy right now. If you'd like the recipe for s'more brownie cups and the recipe for the triple chocolate decadence brownies to go in the s'more cups for complete overload, you'll find a link on KMTR.com under the KMTR TV tab right there on our homepage. And of course, you can also find Chef Becky on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, made our day. You can make somebody else's day. That's right. We have to get through the daily giveaway now because Joel wants to finish his yep, dessert. Yeah, got to get back to chomping away. Gotta Thank you, ladies. We appreciate it. Thank you.